Mandy Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel um, where we focus on thrifting and reselling um, goods that we're about to end up in a landfill. So grab a drink and today's video will be a ship with me so you'll know what I purchased and what actually sold and it's not a lot. Um, <laughs> but um, these are the weekend sales, so grab a drink and cheers. I just brushed my teeth, so this iced coffee tastes a little <laughs> minty and interesting. But have you ever had iced coffee with mint in it? It's actually not that bad. I went on vacation, they would have like little, like I think it was in Vegas, and they had like a little um, piece of mint on top. That sounds gross. I know. <laughs> it sounds grosser than it is. It's actually not that gross. It's actually kind of good. Not 100% good, but kind of good. Okay, so some of these I'm just going to wrap up and I have like not real shipping labels because I need to reprint the shipping label, but we're going to start here. So this piece right here, I got at a local thrift store and I think this was in one of my last YouTube videos, which was like a spring trends haul. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, please do. It's silk, it's new with tags. This color is so beautiful. Um, oddly enough, I had two things like this color and they both sold. And two different people I'm assuming, but I wonder if like, a celebrity wore this color or something that would like, make people start searching it out. Like it's kind of like, I would just say it's sage green. I would say it's like, not mint. It's a beautiful color. I don't know what, if I can pinpoint the actual color. But. So I got this at a, a local thrift store and it sold on eBay. And I was just in the mood to take offers. So this person got very lucky because the retail price on this and the two tags is like $148 because it is silk. They sent me an offer of $17. I must have just been feeling very desperate or just wanting to give a good deal. So they sent um, an offer of $17 and I accepted it. So I'll make $15 after eBay fees. Um, this is how I ship everything. I want to make it look like it's like brand new. Um, cause it's brand new to that person. So felt like that makes sense. Um, and then I obviously put in a poly mailer, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure, um, how to ship it since I still have to print the shipping label. This one is a real shipping label. So I'll actually pack this one up. So this sold also on eBay. No, I want to buy I know, I wanted to. Oh, I'm so kind of upset with myself. This I think was in my first video. Um, so if you're inter interested to see what I got, I think in my, my first YouTube haul, I think this was one of them. And I think that whole third haul was from the Goodwill bins. And this is going to be one of my dupe videos. Oh, I can't believe I sold it already. <gasps> oh, well. So I was shopping online and I noticed that, um, I believe it's like ShopBot virtually has this exact same like Nike cropped black mock neck sweatshirt for clearly way more than what I have just sold it for. So I think the only difference was the one on Shopbop has the Nike swoosh in the middle, but this is even embroidered on. Like it's not um, like screen printed, but it's off to a good home. Someone made me an offer on eBay and they made me a $20 offer and I accepted it. So I'll make about 17 after like all of the eBay fees and stuff. Um, but I do have to print it or um, ship this in a blank poly miller since I can't use the USPS free ones. Okay. 
because it's not getting shipped priority, it's getting shipped first class. So that's a little bit of a cost that I'm absorbing, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. I have these cute like green ones for spring, so I think that's fine. I had someone comment on one of my videos and I was like, ooh, this is a good call out. And they said that like my little poly mailers, I might need to like buy a new, or the cellophane bags, I might need to buy a new batch ones that um, have all the stuff about like not suffocating, not like putting it over your head or whatever. Um, and I was like, oh, I never really thought about that. Just because they're like, for one, in my opinion, they, they are pretty flimsy. Like sometimes they put clothing in them and they like bust open. So I can't imagine, you know, anything too terrible happening. Cause I feel like it would just bust open. But um, I felt like it was nice that that person commented. So thank you if you're watching, I'll order new ones. Um, <laughs> This one here, so this I think was also in my like curvy girl haul. A lot of the new stuff is selling, that's pretty cool. Um, curvy girl haul. So this I got from the bins, it's from H&M, super cute. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Um, this piece was in my curvy girl haul, it's a bit oversized. So that's nice. I think this is like a great little like vacation top, super cute, um, nice and flowy, very bohemian. Um, but this person also got a total deal. So I did get it um, at the bins like I mentioned and it sold on Poshmark. Someone made me an offer. I think I only had this listed because it is from H&M. I think I only had it listed for like $15. Um, and someone maybe an offer of seven and I was like, do you know what? Honestly, I don't know how much more than that I would really get. And I should probably just reinvest it in something. Although it's super cute, I should probably just reinvest the money in something that can make a little bit more money. So I accepted it. So after posh fees, I'll make, um, $4 and five cents. So Crazy enough, it's still a little bit of a profit. Not a big profit. <laughs> they can't all be bangers. That would be amazing if they were. Um, but just a little profit. So this piece here, I have for a pretty long time. Um, I got it from a local thrift store. I thought it was just so beautiful. And it's from French Connection, which I don't typically pick up. This would not be in any of my hauls because it's pretty old, but it's like a hundred percent silk, like t-shirt blouse. And I thought like, it's so pretty and like flowy and beautiful. And that, um, like maybe a career person, like this would be a nice way to wear like something like casual, but yet still dressy, um, like office wear or something. So I've had it listed for a, for a bit um, before I really knew what I was doing. Not that I know now, but <laughs> we're all learning here. Um, so it's old on Poshmark. Someone made me an offer for $20, which I did accept. So I'm not paying any like shipping discounts or anything for this. So I make $16, which is actually pretty good. I did get it from a local thrift store before I even discovered the Goodwill bin. And I discovered the Goodwill bin thanks to YouTube <laughs> and watching other resellers. Um, I was like, whoa, these people are getting really good stuff and they are hunting and they are finding stuff and they're getting like adrenaline rushes and the dopamine is like out of control. Like I need to find one. So I did. But anyway, um, I got this from a local thrift store. So I probably paid a little bit too much for what it is. So like I said, I'll make um, $16 after posh fees, which I'm happy with. And it's gonna go to a good home, hopefully where someone will love it and wear it and it won't just be sitting in storage bin. So that makes me happy. And then I actually sold, this is strange enough, I sold two denim skirts 
in like the same day when I've been picking up denim skirts for a while and they don't really sell, but I did a little, I think it was one of the trends that I might have had, but denim skirts are totally coming back. So I picked up this cute little um, Hollister denim skirt. I thought it was super cute, very current. I picked this up at the bins. It sold on Poshmark. Um, I sent an offer to Likers. I think I was sending an offer to Likers of like 30 or 40% over the weekend. I was really just trying to make some sales. And someone accepted it, so I will pay a shipping discount for this. But I'll make like $7.03 after Poshmark fees and I got it at the bin so that's not so bad and I get to use one of the USPS free mailers which if you're new here or new to reselling or you're thinking about like clearing out your own closet and you're like wow I'd really like to be able to make sure that some of this stuff like finds a new home not just going to like donation and you have the time and you want to start um, selling things on Poshmark, getting free shipping supplies is really great. Also, I think the link in my description, you get like a 5 or $10 credit if you use my sign up code, which is Mandy underscore Elizabeth. Um, it's not sponsored and I just happen to have it because every single person on Poshmark has it. <laughs> um, but it's a nice way to like, you know, clear out your home and make sure that things are going to a new place and you get free shipping supplies, which is really cool. You could also go to your, like your local um, USPS and pick some up, they'll give you some. But I ordered like 200, so they were not gonna give me 200, so I had to do it online. Now this piece I said about bangers, ooh, okay, cool. So this one I got from the Goodwill bins and I was in there hunting like, I can't believe that I got this. I just think it's so cool. Knowing nothing about it, I just thought it was cool. I'm very much like a coastal girl at heart. Um, palm trees, sunshine, blue water, peace signs. Like this, I was just like, oh, it's so cool. Um, it's from Palm Tree Crew. And I think this was like a collaboration with Kaiko. Or maybe he like is part owner of the brand, which I didn't know until I picked it up. I just picked it up because I thought it was cool. I thought maybe, uh-oh, it could be like something really, really interesting and worth something or something like sold at PacSun. <laughs> um, but I got lucky. And also there was a lot of like, you know, the t-shirt heads like and they're hunting for like vintage tees and like all of, like the Nike stuff and vintage sneakers and all this kind of stuff. So they passed this up. That's what really made me think it wasn't really worth as much as it is. So drop a comment if you know this brand, but I sold it on Depop, which I suspected it would sell on Depop or somewhere like, I feel like out of all of the reselling sites, like Depop's like the coolest, trendiest and, um, Someone reached out and they said, hey, can you open international shipping on this item? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, where is it going? And they said, oh, it's going to um, Berlin. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's gonna be kind of expensive for shipping. And I put in like an average shipping cost of like $35. And a few days passed and I thought I got ghosted. <laughs> Nothing happened. I was like, oh darn. But I figured, well, whatever, I'll just keep the international shipping open just in case. Like it's kind of like an inflated rate if it's gonna go anywhere closer. But I woke up this morning and they purchased it which was really awesome. So they purchased it at full price. I had the t-shirt listed for $75. I 
They also paid $35 in shipping, which I'll have to buy a shipping label. But off that, I'll make $68. That's really cool. I think is a really cool, and that's what you're hoping for when you're like hunting in the bins, right? If, if you could get a few of those when you are, um, when you're sourcing stuff, it like makes the whole trip worth it. Now this one, I also am gonna have to print the label. This is from Uniqlo, it's just like a little romper. Now this was um, like a hand-me-down from my best friend. I think she probably got it from a thrift store with intentions of wearing it and she just didn't really like the way it fit her. So she gave it to me. Um, and with that being said, I wasn't like, you know, stuck on a price. So I think I had it listed for probably like 15 or $12 since my cost was obviously nothing. Um, and someone offered me seven. So I was like, all right, it is the season for something like this. I really want to make sure it finds a home and doesn't like sit in inventory for me like until next spring or summer. So I accepted it. So from that, I'll get like $4 and five cents. Pretty cool. This is my one and only bundle sale. Two pieces, and this person was kind of like looking in my closet. I felt like they were liking a bunch of stuff. And I got so excited. If you notice, like people liking multiple items in your closet and like kind of making bundles and get really excited. Um, and so I waited a little bit and then I sent them an offer and I think it was like a bunch of stuff and then they declined and I was like, oh my heart, <laughs> <laughs> the rejection. <laughs> um, but then they started removing stuff from the bundle and I was like, okay, maybe they just actually like those things, but maybe they weren't, you know, that person's size. So they left these two pieces in there and then I sent them a 50% off bundle offer. So this whole bundle, if they would have bought it outright, it would have cost $60, but I sent them a $30 offer with no discounted shipping. So this is a super cute top. It's like, I think an Angora like cashmere blend. So cute. I think I might do this one in a dupe video too. I saw a really expensive sweater. Um, online that looks so similar to this. I'm talking like, I think the sweater is like three or $400. Oh, and I keep mentioning like some of these videos and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely see all of those types of videos. So on Instagram, it's just Warnology, just like my YouTube. I like to post little reels. I've been like finding a lot of things at the thrift store that are dupes for like current things that are online that are very expensive, which is kind of crazy because like, is this the dupe or is that the dupe? Because this was made prior to the thing that's online. So what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Um, <laughs> so this beautiful sweater is going to this person and I could actually see them wearing these two pieces together, which would be so freaking cute. Um, this and then this super cute my other denim skirt that I sold super cute mango denim skirt it's just so beautiful like this is very current oh, this looks like it's never been worn but so we're gonna get both of these out um, not a good deal I know right what a great deal it's like a whole outfit for $30 and they're great materials too like this is not like super cheapy denim, you know? It's not like um, Fashion Nova, like denim jeggings. This is like an actual 100% cotton denim skirt. And then that, I think, like I said, it's like an Angora cashmere blend sleeveless sweater. So this piece here, actually, my best friend sourced it for me. So when she goes to the thrift store, because of course my bestie would be a little thrift queen too. <laughs> uh, when she goes and she sees something that she thinks that like I might want, 
she'll pick it up and then she'll ship them to me or I'll go get breakfast with her and, and then I'll pick up the stuff. So she sourced that for me. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, probably like four or five dollars. And then this skirt I found at the bins. So that would be bins pricing, which is pretty good. So the sale of both of these items is $24, but considering what I paid for them, I'm still making like a pretty good profit. And someone's getting like a super cute outfit. <laughs> so I was like really happy to see this. We go from like a high to a little bit of a low. <laughs> um, so this piece I got in the bins and it's caution to the wind, which I thought was sometimes carried at um, Urban Outfitters, just a cute little romper or um, jumpsuit. And I thought it would probably sell for like 15, but I got an offer for $6 and Honestly, I've had this for a little bit, so I kind of just wanted to make sure that I could reinvest the money since it didn't have a lot of attention on it, although it is so cute. So I was a little confused because if you could feel this material, it's like lightly ribbed, so this could be like lounge wear or you could definitely wear it like casually, but I accepted a $6 offer on this item, so my profit after Poshmark fees will be $3.05, which is still more than what I probably paid for it. Um, so like I said, my intentions are just to reinvest that money on something that would hopefully get me a little bit more of a profit. And it's going to a new home and I, going to live in a landfill, so can't put a dollar price on that, but it definitely makes you feel good. And then I saved the best, in my opinion, for last. So this dress here, if you happen to watch my other YouTube videos, my last video was a $100 thrift haul that I got from the bins, which was supposed to be uh, $40, but I went rogue. And I found this Farm Rio dress. And I had like an auto offer to likers happening over the weekend of like 40% off. And silly little me, and good for this person. <laughs> um, I did not change it. So I listed some new items yesterday, including this beautiful Farmerio dress and all of that new stuff I was sending out 40% offers on. And someone just swooped in and was like, yep, I'm buying this. So it sold like within an hour and a half of me listing it. Which when I saw, I was like, congratulations, like you sold your farm rear dress. I was like, yeah. And then I was like, oh no. But they already bought it and they deserve it. So, Cashy. It's okay, Cash. I know. Mommy made a boo boo. <laughs> um, but how cool is this? Like, it's so beautiful. If it was a smaller size, I would have definitely kept it for myself or at least worn it because like the rainbow banana print is so cute. I think this, this particular dress was only sold in Europe, but I saw that like the exact same print in a different style of dress was sold on Shopbop here in the US. So I should have put like rare, this kind of stuff, but I was just really trying to get to my listing goal yesterday. Um, but someone's getting a good deal and I'm not gonna have to sort an inventory. So I guess that's great. Wait, so what's their deal? Their deal? <laughs> so I had it listed for $100. Like I said, I was sending out auto off 
offers for 40% off plus discounted shipping. So they got this dress for $60. Oh, I don't want the tag to be off. Um, they got it for $60 plus discounted shipping. Now do you know why they swooped in and got it so quickly? Um, but nevertheless, it's still really great because I did get it from the bins. So my profit after like Poshmark fees and stuff will be $45.98. Okay, it's not horrible. It's really great if it were like anything else but this piece. But I um, I wanted to kind of do like follow up to see like how long it would take me to like start getting profitable from that thrift haul. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please watch my first thrift haul to see everything that I got, or the $100 bins for fall. So this is the first thing that sold. It sold within one and a half hours of me listing it. And um, so I spent $100 from this, I'll make $45.98. So I still need to make $54.02 to start being profitable. But I've only sold one item and I got I think it was around 75 items. So we shall see. I'll keep following up. Hopefully we can sell another really good one and then we can get in the green quickly. But that's all I have. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, if you wanna see anything that I have available to sell, since you're only seeing things that I've already sold, please check out any of my reselling platforms, which would be Warnology on Depop, Macari, eBay, and I think Poshmark, you can type in Warnology or Mandy underscore Elizabeth. So I think that's everything and stay stylist. Cheers.